Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Canvas is a lightweight board game about building works of art. And in this game, you will be drafting cards from the tableau in order to add them to your hand, and you'll stick three of them when you're ready to to make a work of art. And those art will give you icons that will match scoring mechanisms that you'll have. What a wonderful, easy, beautiful game to play. This game can be played with nearly anyone. And this might quickly go to become one of my go-to gateway games. It is that good of a game. It's very easy, it's breezy, it's light, very simple to comprehend. I think anyone can play this game, and that's a plus for this game. Now, if you're looking for a deep Euro experience, you're about dice rolling, this is not that. But this is something a lot of people could put in their collection and have a wide gamut of people to play it with. The game is beautiful. It's literally a work of art. I mean, you literally can put the box on the wall. It's, it's created to hang like that, and you could just have it be a work of art. Uh, there is a deluxe version versus an undeluxe. I don't know if you need that. You know, do you like wooden bits more than uh, cardboard tokens? That's up to you. But both versions are very pretty, very thematic. The game plays very simply and very, very elegantly. It's a very good game. Now, there's nothing innovative here. Everything here you've seen before. But it comes together in such a wonderful package that I think most people should have this in their collection. Canvas is a wonderful game. One of the best new games I've played in a long time really has an impression on me, and this one won't be leaving my collection anytime, let alone soon. This is an absolute keeper for us. Here's Canvas. You see the name is not put on it. It's because this is actually a work of art. So you could paint it up here on the back and hang it on your wall, and it'll look like a painting on your wall, which is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So the box is going to slide out here. You're gonna have a little thing that will slide this out and you'll have everything inside of it. Pretty nice, you're gonna have a rule book, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. And then this is gonna be the deluxe upgraded components. So this deluxe upgraded components are gonna have the easels, which really don't serve much of a purpose, but they are pretty nice. You're gonna have these upgraded components from, now these are gonna be like wooden bits versus uh, what would be cardboard in the other one. You're gonna get a player board, which is nice and it feels like a paint swab or something like it's it's not a board it's like a piece of fabric which is really really neat you're going to get these cards which will have a case for them so you can't see what they are but you can see all the little things on them and they're clear as you can see you can see through these uh, and these are really really cool as you're going through you can see all the different stuff on them etc and you put them together and they're going to make uh painting so there's melancholy uh, curiosity. You can see it there. It's kind of neat. So they each will tell a different story as you go through. And then you can see here is the sleeves that will come with them. And you're going to have like the little, the little sheaves. This is what you'll build the stuff in and you'll put your paintings inside. These cards are all sleeves. These come with the sleeves. So it's very, very nice and they're required. Now my set came with some extra cards here that you can utilize. And then these are the cardboard ones. I'm not going to punch these out because I already have these upgraded components. But if not, you would have these. You can see You'd put your tokens and art cards and everything down here at the bottom. So those are components. Components are really good. I don't know that you need this stuff, these deluxe stuff. I mean, it's kind of cool, but I think this is sufficient. If you got this, you're not missing out on any gameplay or anything like that. So here's the rule book. First thing I say, this has a linen finish to it. It's very nice. If you've seen the Stonemeyer games, it, it does the same thing here. You can have an overview of what the art cards are going to look like. Here is the setup. And you can see set up for each individual player. Very easy with lots of pictures and full color. And on your turn, you do two things. You take a card or you can complete a painting. That is it. Uh, the game is very simple. It goes through. You can see the examples will be in these things right here. And you can see plenty of pictures, etc. The game end and how to score. And it has two solo variants at the end. Very good. And this will be the scenarios that you can play through and achievements. You're going to keep track of that. Uh, probably should take about 15 minutes to go through this rule book. If you've played a lot of board games, maybe 10 I was able to sit down and read the book. We were ready to play in no time and really didn't have any decisions or questions when we were playing. The rule book is fantastic. So you're going to have a stack of these cards. You have a lot of variety when you're playing. This is the recommended setup the first time you play. These will be the scoring cards that you're going to have. Then you're going to have all the cards in here. You're going to shuffle them up and you're going to take these out. Now this box is so you can't see what's coming next and it works pretty good and you'll have these cards out here. Based on the number of players, you're going to take a number of these inspiration tokens in a two-player game. You're going to have four of these and this will kind of be the currency in the game that you'll have. In addition, everybody's going to get three of these cards. These will be in the sleeves provided. It doesn't really matter what the background is. It's going to showcase the colors at the bottom here and these are just set up and you're ready to go. 
On your turn, you can take one of two actions. You can either take a card or you can complete a masterpiece. Now, the only way to complete the art is you must have three of these cards. At the beginning of the game, you can't do this. You can always take this card on the end for free, or you can utilize your inspiration tokens by putting them down on the ones that you want to skip to take another card. So if I want to take this one, I would lay one inspiration token down on each one, take this into my hand, move this down at the end of my turn, and a new card comes out of the box. Now remember, you can only have a maximum of five of these cards in your hand. Then what will happen, the next player will go. Let's say they wanted to take this card right here. They would take the card and any inspiration tokens on it would become theirs, and then everything else would move down. So that's kind of what you would do for your first possible action, which is very simply to take a card. Once I have five cards in my hand, I am required, because that's the maximum I can have, to create artwork. But I could also do the same if I only had three or four cards. At any point, instead of taking a card, I can definitely build one. Then what I would do is I would take my background card here and I would slide the cards in in any order that I see fit based on what icons I want to showcase. And I would put all three of them in here and you can see they now showcase my artwork. This one's called Illuminated and it has the artwork on here. And each time you put a combination in, this is going to be a different piece of artwork. But what's really important is this at the bottom. Now what I'm trying to do is score these cards and gain the ribbons that are attached to them. So as long as I have one of each of these, which I do not, I'm lacking that one, I would score a ribbon. This one right here requires two triangles. I only have one, so I didn't do a very good job. Exactly one of these, which I did. So that would allow me, because I only have one of these, which is right here, allow me to gain one of these blue ones. And this is one of each color. Ugh, I'm lacking the blue, I didn't have it, so I don't earn that one either. Now, in addition, you're gonna have cards that might have this on it. And this allows you to get these gray ones, which are kinda, uh, they score a little bit differently than the other ones. So this one says, for every one of these little dots I have, or these little symbols, I would gain one of those gray ribbons. So if I would've made Unashamed Nightmare instead, you would see here, this gives me one for every triangle that I have, see? One of these per triangle, so then I would grab one of these gray ribbons here. Gives me one for every one of these little circles. I don't have any of those circles, so I wouldn't gain any from that. Once you are able to make three of these, you're done, you're out of the game, you can score up your points, and everybody will kind of end around the same time. So what's gonna happen here is you're gonna score victory points at the end. So this is the red one, as you can see here. So if I have one red ribbon, it's worth four points. But if I had three red ribbons, it's worth 13. And you will score each of those. The gray ones are always worth two a piece. So sometimes they can be worth more. So one of those grays are worth more than one of these blue. And two of these blues are worth the same as two of the gray. But three of these blues are worth 11, which is more than the six you would get from three grays. So you kinda of wanna pull that in. So it's all about these scoring cards. And like I said, each game you play, there's a lot of these to choose from. There will be different ones that come out. But that's a general thing. All you're going to do is either take a card, spinning the inspiration, if you don't want to take the first one. Or you can, if you have at least three, you can make one of the paintings and then gain the ribbons for doing so. And at the end of the game, the ribbons will score you victory points. Whoever has the most victory points is the winner. Canvas is a game you can play with nearly anyone. Non-gamers, gamers, hardcore gamers, light gamers. Everyone is pretty much going to enjoy this game. This is a gateway game that I say you should absolutely add to your collection, sight unseen. You should pick this game up, and this should be in your collection, and use it, and play it. Build different works of art. It is a wonderful game. It comes with two solo variants. One's better than the other, but I'm telling you, this game is an excellent, excellent game, and it's new. It doesn't have to bring anything innovative. It doesn't have to bring anything new. It's just bringing it together in a light package, and it just blows my mind of how good it is. This is one you need to seek out nearly for everyone, Canvas Keeper.